Gee, I'm glad to see you, Wilson. Where'd you spend your vacation? In a cannery, teaching little sardines to lay down in cans. <laughs> Hello, John. How have you been? Oh, bad. Suffering from dropsy and heart trouble. Dropsy and heart trouble? Yeah, drop the lily white body in bed, and it breaks my heart to get it out. Oh, <laughs> The sophomore class. Perfect. Here at last, Mike. College can open now. Come on, come on, come on. Lay on now. Come on, you soldier boatman. Three cheers for Bart. Bart. A new load of fresh meat. Now it's time to greet them. Company of fresh meat. Oh. Listen, you dumb bozo. There's one thing lower than a freshman. That's a caterpillar. Right, right. right. The first thing you must learn is discipline. So about face and salute your superiors. About face. <laughs> Well, Harold, old boy, at last we're entering college. With your brawn and my brains, I'm convinced that we shall be a positive sensation. Do you really know what's the matter with it, or are you just posing? I read a book once that said all you had to do was tickle the carburetor with a hairpin, and the differential would automatically start itself. We're going to have to pick up the toes. Say, we're going to have to pick up all our toes. And a couple of heels, too. Can we be of any help? We've had a breakdown. Nervous or mechanical? Look! It's feet! We're on our way to Barton College. So are we. We'll call you. That folk won the first prize the county cattle show. Like to take a look at him? I can tell from here he's a high-powered animal. Say, would you like to tell him, Sheriff? Oh, why, no siree. Why, I raised him from a kid. Here, Harold, you tie this on the end of Miss, uh... Peggy Dale is my name. Ted Merrill's glad to know you. You must be completely exhausted. I may be puny, but I'm potent. Get it? Papa, some college fellows cut their go to win an automobile. Don't our go to, eh? I'll get them. I'm not kidding. I never met a girl like you. You're different. <laughs> Is that your idea of a joke? Well, it might be funny to you, but I'm serious. <laughs> it's plain to be seen that you were raised on a farm. Oh, what have I done? We were getting along swell. <laughs> oh, 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 why, where did he come from? I never saw him before. My, what a swell mascot he'd make for the freshman team. That's a great idea. You know, I'm a freshman, too. That's the best news I've had all day. But, ho, oh, here we are. You've been awfully nice, Ted. I'm near as nice as I'm going to be, though. Hello, Peggy. Mac, it's good to see you. <laughs> Welcome to college. Oh. <laughs> Who's the junk man that towed you in? He's a freshman. Mr. Uh, Mr. Papa. I don't care to know him. <laughs> Listen, Peggy, I've arranged a great party for you and I tonight. If we... Am I protruding? Hello, Bertie. Come over to the house and meet the girls, Peggy. See you later, Max. Listen, Freshie. Hands off. She belongs to me. <laughs> Did you do that? I didn't think of it quick enough. A goat. Just what the sophomore class needs for a mascot. That's our goat. Absolutely our goat. Take off that hat. And freshies aren't allowed to wear neckties. Give him the work, Harold. Take off your hat. Sophomores, this way. Freshmen, this way. And your tie. Sophomores, this way. Hey, Fishman! This way! Fishman! Fishman! We brought that goat here for the Fishman's mascot. Are we gonna let him take it? No! no. Get it, fellas! Oh, oh! Hey! Now you stay 
here and it's all over. Don't lose your temper. Get it? Not Mac Thomas, president of the sophomore class. My pal. Woof, 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 woof. The wrong animal, you're a ghost. <laughs> bah, bah. <sighs> Somebody stole my goat. Mine too. Well, who's got it? My ghost? Oh, my ghost! <laughs> oh! There, Hercules, now! by some sporting contest. Coach Graham will arrange it. Now it's up to you sophomores and freshmen to decide just what this contest will be. I suggest that you appoint a committee. We'll meet in the candy shop at one o'clock. All right, fellas, let's get three cheers for Coach Graham. Coach Graham! No matter what the contest is, I won't have much trouble beating you. You talk a great contest. Hmm. Mac won several cups last year for dancing. Oh, Pavlova. Coach Graham has an announcement to make. Yay! Boys and girls, quiet, please. The contest that will decide the question as to who gets the coat is going to be a cross-country automobile race. <laughs> Each class may have three entries. The students must drive their own cars. 
and the winning driver gets to go for his class. Now, who's going to represent the sophomore? I'll represent the sophomore class. Jimmy Smith, sophomore number two. Carney Jones, sophomore number three. Now, uh, so what about you freshmen? Billy Dumas, freshman number one. <laughs> I'll be freshman number two. Now, we just need one more. I'll be number three, Colt. The entries are closed. The race will start this afternoon at 3 o'clock. Are you going to drive against me, Peggy? I'm going to drive for the freshman. Good luck, Peggy. I wanted to get into this, but I'd rather see you get the glory. All right, then. But remember, I'm out to win. Hi, drive my car. I only stayed out of the race because you were in it. What good is your car any good? You'd be surprised. Go to it, Dad. Mac Thomas has engineered some underhanded work. Come with me. Let's say Sheriff. There's the guy that stole your goat.
Protected from any further attack in the rear. I quite agree with you, Professor. <laughs> that was my first and last contest. Oh, Except one. You mean? Yes, you. Oh, 